Shalom. I want to start off saying, Kalayim La, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Wacha Kodash, which means give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Yahushai, which is our Lord and Savior, and to the Holy Spirit. Nathan Mashana Kabbalah has claimed such a Allah, which means give the honors to the elders of Israel, which is the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, of Israel. Shalom, Wahala, Wacha Yah, such a Allah, which means peace and love to the elect of Israel. Come with you again with another lesson. This is the brother I for the Jim S. Memphis camp. Page on Jim S. Look up. That's something you're going to the seed, you know, that seed, which is Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You know, from Judah to Issachar, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Simeon, Zebulon, Ephraim, Manasseh, Gad, Reuben, Naphtali, Asher, Issachar, you so called blessed Spanish, Latinos, and Native Americans, and to the Israelite foreigners who've been scattered amongst the, uh, the countries. Most the nations, you know, we are the uh, we're Israelites, man. You know, and the, and the Lord chose us, man. You know, if you were Israelite, the Lord chose us. You know, we are that special people unto Himself, man. We are the most high chosen people, man. You know, and the Lord would not cast us off, man. The Lord has not forsaken us, man. You know, so furthermore, going to get into it, Lord willing, you be edified. I'm going to start with uh, Sirach 44 and 18 and 20. Sirach 44 and 20. Who kept the law of the Most High? It was in covenant with him. He established the covenant in his flesh. And when he was proved, he was found faithful. You know, to my Abraham. Therefore, he assumed him by oath that he will bless the nations in his seed and that he will multiply him as the dust of the earth and exalt his seed it's the stars and cause them to inherit from sea to sea and from the river unto the utmost part of the land. It said, With Isaac did he establish likewise for Abraham, his father's sake, the blessing of all men and the covenant. It made it rest upon the head of Jacob, which is Yashallah, you know. Made it rest upon the head of Jacob. He acknowledged him in his blessing and gave him inheritance and divided his portion among the twelve tribes that he part them from Judah to Issachar, man. You know? From Judah to Issachar, man. So, right. This is Isaiah 45 and 25. No, let me read 17. But Israel should be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. You should not be ashamed nor confound it. What would I am, man? That's the precept. The John three sixteen man, this way should be safe man. You know, the kingdom of heaven is not for you other nations. Yes, you gonna be in the kingdom of heaven, but you gonna serve out your captivity. You know, you gonna be in subjection underneath us in the kingdom of heaven man. You know, but it's at eighteen for thus said the Lord Yahweh that created the heavens, the Most High Himself that formed the earth and made it. He established it. He created it not in vain. He formed it to be inhabited. I am the Lord, and there is none else. I have not spoken in secret. In the dark place of the earth, I said, Now unto the seed of Jacob, Seek ye me in vain. I, the Lord, speak righteousness. I declare the things that are right, man. The Lord is a man that he should not lie, man. Unto the seed of Jacob, man. And you Christians go realize that the Lord only dealing with us, man. He had not dealt so we're in the nation. Let's grab that real quick. Psalms 4, 47, 20. That started 19. He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgment unto Israel. He had not dared so with any nation. And it's for his judgments that have not known them. Praise you the Lord, your high and our shot, man. You know? So back in Isaiah 45, I'm jump down to 24. It says, Surely shall one say, In the Lord have our righteousness and strength. Even to him shall man come. And all that are incensed against him should be ashamed. So let's look this word up, man. In a sense. Come from the Hebrew word, uh, kawa. It say to be hot, furious, bomb, become angry, you know, be kindled. You know? So, right? Be angry, you know? So, right? So, it say, um, all that are is a sense and against him, against who? The seed of uh, uh, Jacob, man, the Israelites, you know. 
him should be ashamed. Why are you going to be ashamed that day, man? You know? That's why you're going to be ashamed that the Lord dealing with us, man. You know? Because why? Let me get Hosea 1 10. Yet the number of children of Israel should be is the sin of the sea, which cannot be measured with no number. And this is going to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people. There should be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living power. Right. In that land, you know. What you talking about in America, man? Do the woman to eight sixty eight. You know? Let's go out Jeremiah 16 real quick. Jeremiah 16, maybe 15. Jeremiah 16. You can start at 14. I'm going to get straight to the point. Jeremiah 16 and 15. But the Lord live it that brought out the children of Israel from the land of the north. North America, a.k.a. Babylon the Great. And from all the lands where he had driven them, and I will bring them again to the land that I gave unto their fathers. You know? So, hey, salvation for us, man. We are that blessed seed. You know? Let me get one more scripture. Because all you nations going to be ashamed that day, man. Verse on Solomon 5 and 1. Then should the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labels. And when they see it, there should be trouble with terrible fear and should be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they look for, it, man. What it say on um, surely, let me see, just cannot find it. Um, bear with me. Uh, so. Bear with me, slack you. No, the book I tell you. You gotta be. Uh, man, I know in the book Isaiah. Let me see, can I find it real quick? Isaiah 45. Oh, the same chapter. So, like you. Let me go back to the book of Isaiah 45. Same chapter, man. Isaiah 45 and 15. I started 14. Same chapter, so like it. Thus said the Lord Yahweh, the labor of Egypt and merchandise of Ethiopia and of the Sabine, man of stature, should come over onto thee, and that shall be thine, you know? That should come after thee in chains. That should come over and that should fall down unto thee. That should make supplication unto thee. Saying, Surely the Most High is in thee, and there is none else. There is no power. Verily, there are a power that hides thyself. O power Israel and the Savior, man. So, you know, this is what these nations are going to be saying, man. Surely he a power that hides himself, man. Because, right, the Lord had, um, had, um, had, um, turned his back on us, man. For, for a little moment, you know? But, hey, deliverance finna come out of Zion, you know? We better be delivered again, man. The Lord better be dealing with us again, man. So let me go and read this, Isaiah 45 and 24. Right, y'all gonna be ashamed that day. But it said, in 25, in the Lord, Yahweh shall all the seed of Israel be justified and shall glory, right? We gonna be justified in the, in the, in the name of Yahweh Shimon Shai, you know? All of us, man, from Judah all the way down to Issachar, man, every last one of us, man. You know, we not forsaken, man. You know he can get some um, 94 real quick. 94 14, for the Lord will not cast out for his people, neither will he forsake his heritage, man. You know, so right, Isaiah 61, because we are that blessed seed, man. Isaiah 61 and 9, start 8. For I, the Lord, love judgment. I hate robbery. The, see, the Lord loves judgment, man. You people don't understand the judgment thereof, man. You know? It's an I, robbery for burnt offering. I will, de, 
uh, direct, I will direct their walk in truth, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them. You know, back in uh, Sirach 44, that's the everlasting covenant. That's that new covenant, man. You know, his laws, statutes, and commandments be um, gonna be in us, man. You know, so now and they seed should be known among the Gentiles and they offspring among the people. You know, they're talking about Israelites, man. You know, all that seed them should acknowledge them that they are the seed which the Lord Yahweh had blessed, man. Because we are that chosen people, man. Whether you like it or not, you know, you don't have to like it, man. Who cares, man? Zechariah 8 and 13, this has come to pass. They said for, uh, and this should come to pass that as he were a curse among the heathen, O house of Judah and the house of Israel. So will I save you, and ye should be a blessing, you know? Fear not, but let your hands be strong, you know? We're going to be a blessing, man. He said, out of Zion I should come forth on the law, right? In the book of Isaiah, the second chapter, Micah, the fourth chapter, I believe. But hey, Isaiah 2 and 2, and this is going to pass in the last days that the mount of, of the Lord's house should be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills, and all nations shall flow into it. And many people should go and say, Come ye, let us go up to the mount of the Lord, to the house of the Most High of Jacob. And he would, and he would teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths, for out of Zion should go forth the law. You know, in the word of the Lord, in the word of the Lord, Yahweh from Jerusalem. You know, so right. You know, we are that blessed seed, man. I'm gonna get one more scripture. I'm gonna close out Isaiah 65, 22. The point is in um, 23, I believe. Yeah, but I'm gonna read into it. It said, "That should not build in another inhabit. That should not plant in another eat." For the days of a tree are the days of my people, and my elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands. They shall not labor in vain, nor bring forth for trouble, for they are the seed of the blessed of the Lord, and their offspring are with them. And it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer, and while they yet speaking, I will hear. You know, so hey, the Lord is dealing with his people, you know. We are that blessed seed, man. The Lord chosen us on high, man. You know? We are that chosen, man. The wolf and the lamb shall feed together, and the lion shall eat straw like the bullock, and dust shall be the sup serpent's meat. That shall not hurt nor destroy in, in all my holy mouth, said the Lord, man. You know? Esau, you're going to be done away with, man, in the kingdom of heaven. According to the book of Obadiah, man. You know, I said I would close on that. Well, another scripture came to mind, First Corinthians 16. 13, which is a beautiful chapter. It said, O ye seed of Israel, his servant, ye children of Jacob, his chosen, one, his chosen ones, man. You know, we are the chosen ones, man. He chose us, you know. He is the Lord, our power, his judgment, are in all the earth. Be ye mindful always of his covenant, the words which he commanded to a thousand generations, even on the covenant which he made with Abraham and of his oath unto Isaac. And he had confirmed the same to Jacob for a law and to Israel for an everlasting covenant, man. You can't get around it, you know? You can't get around it. So with that, I hope you were edified. Once again, we we'll give our praises. I'm glory to you. How about you, my shout? About you, my shout? The bonus to the apostles. The end is a great minstone. Teach you well. The peace of love to the lack of wisdom. With that, shalom. Quran, mashallah. Wa ba ba.